Hello and welcome back to another video from ProValTech. Today we're going to be taking a look at DataORMM. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the integration between Kaseya 1 and DataORMM. This is a new integration starting with version 12.8 and this can be found under the Setup Integrations section within DataORMM. Now do note, this will require the administrator security level. You cannot have simply the managed permission for setup integrations as this integration does touch user logon functionality. Datto has made it require the administrator security level for this. But when you go ahead and do turn on the unified logon with Kaseya 1, there are a couple of options you want to take a look at here. So the first there is the require logon with Kaseya 1. So upon doing the require logon with Kaseya 1, this will prevent users from logging in via the Datto partner portal and only allow them to authenticate via Kaseya 1. So exceptions can be set for this in the drop down menu and it will support uh, for users with no Kaseya 1 access. So if we go ahead and log in here, um, you'll see the users, it'll give you a little pop up warning saying that users will no longer be able to access that ORMM if you turn this on. And then going forward, we can also see there where that user exceptions are. So if you had a IT service account or an account where they wouldn't need to be logging in via Kaseya 1, this would be the section where you go ahead and set that up there. And then upon doing so, what you can also see here is the automatic user creation or automatic user provisioning. So once enabled, you'll see your users in Kaseya 1 who are granted access to Data ORMM will have access to Data ORMM based upon their first logon there. So it's recommended to kind of choose a lower security level, obviously, uh, as the default security level. So here you can see we've chosen the tier one help desk as the default security level. What you will go ahead and notice as well is that when you do have the automatic user creation enabled, it will go ahead and let you know that you need to have a default security level selected in order to enable that functionality. Now, one of the other functionalities that we have included here with Kaseya 1 is starting in version 12.9, we now have role-based access control. So this allows you to match data RMM security levels to Kaseya 1 and groups. And what it's allowed you to kind of do is enable a technician's data RMM security permission to be updated by changing their group within Kaseya 1. So if we go ahead and hop over here to Kaseya 1, I can kind of show you where that's at. And we go ahead and log in here. Uh, under Kaseya 1, you will see under your admin settings. And then you go ahead and go over here to groups. Uh, these groups are what you're going to be changing for and what you can sync to Data RMM. So when you go ahead and click on add group there in the corner, it will go ahead and pop up. You want to name your group, choose all the users you want in your group. And then when you go to assign modules, one of the modules you will go ahead and assign to your group will be for Data RMM. And then upon doing so, they will then be able to log on for it. And kind of the next functionality that Datto plans on kind of tying up this uh, Kaseya 1 and user logon functionality with is the deep provisioning. So right now that is one of the, the next functionalities scheduled up for them is so now we have kind of the user creation and the role based access control. Um, the next is kind of the deep provisioning, which will enable Datto ARMM users to be kind of automatically deactivated when the corresponding account in Kaseya 1 is either deactivated or deleted. But other than that, that will kind of get you set up here uh, within Kaseya 1 within the Data RMM side. If you have any questions or issues, feel free, to, feel free to reach out to us here at Provel Tech. We release new videos every week on all the platforms we support, hoping to gain you insight and valuable knowledge into the tools. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, thank you very much, and we hope to catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.